Hi everyone. First off, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this self-isolation. For today's video, I thought I would show you how I created this makeup look right here. I've been experimenting a lot more with makeup recently. I have more time at home to try out different looks and I really wanted to create a look that had this pop of neon green color because I think it's just a really cool and edgy color and this is kind of the look that I came up with. It has like a warm taupe shadow with some glitter reflex in it and of course that pop of green so if you want to see how I created this look then just keep on watching I've already primed my face so let's move straight onto the base I'm going to dab this Revlon foundation onto my skin first and then blend it out with a beauty blender then I'm going to use concealer over my dark spots and hyperpigmentation areas I'm going to set that with a light layer of translucent powder now I'm just quickly filling in my brows. For the eyes, I'm using this warm taupe shade first, and I'm actually going to use four different brushes to apply this. First, I'm taking this e.l.f. brush to do a nice layer of the shadow over the eyes. Then I'm going to take this fluffier brush to help blend out the edges and make it softer. Now I'm going to take this small liner brush to draw a wing shape with the eyeshadow color. I'm taking this thicker angled brush now and darkening the outer corners. This brush picks up more color and it's thin enough to get in that wing that I just created. Now I'm just making sure the edges are nicely blended. You can also use a flat concealer brush and some foundation or a concealer to sharpen and clean up the wing. Next, I'm taking the sky blue color paint and adding that to the inner corner with a small brush. This makes it easier to apply the neon green color later, and it's also going to help make it pop. For the neon green, I only had this liquid liner from Fenty Beauty, but if you have a better product, you can skip the previous step and just feel free to use that. I'm just going right over the sky blue color with this by using tiny brush strokes. I also like making the top of this liner extend a bit further to accentuate that eye socket area. Now I'm taking that thick angled brush and going over the edges of that green liner. This helps to fade the green a bit so that it blends in nicely with the rest of the shadow. I'm going to add a bit of glitter over the taupe shadow now. Please be super careful when using glitter over your eyes. You can use a glitter primer before applying this, which will help the glitter stay put throughout the day. Now I'm just applying some false lashes. I'm using Fenty Beauty's matchsticks in amber to contour my nose, cheeks, and around the edges of my face. I'm using the Fenty Beauty sponge to blend everything in because it has a small flat top that makes it really easy. For blush, I'm using the end of that same sponge to apply it to my cheeks. I'm using a light neutral shade from Kaja Beauty so that it doesn't clash with the other colors on my face. For highlight, I'm using the shade Peaceful from the Sigma Chroma Glow Palette. And lastly for lip color, I'm using this glossy one from M Cosmetics called Caramel Glaze. It's a really pretty 90s brown shade and I think it goes really well with the eyes. And here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Please tag me if you recreate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!